hey guys welcome back to my channel this is the second video that I promised showing you the second look of the Mother's Day cards that I created for this year and for this one I am going to be using my dies from Prima Marketing they, it is called forgive me for the pronunciation pronunciation you guys <laughs> Uh, I think it, it's called Emmanuel Flowers. Flowers. Well, it's supposed to be Emmanuel Flowers, but it's written in French, I believe. So those are the dies that I'm gonna be using. I have already pulled my colors that I wanted to use. These are just some leftover scraps, uh, pieces of paper uh, in the yellow, purple and a darker purple and whatever I could put together and I'm basically going to be running all these dies well it's just three but I'm going to be running them through all these papers or scraps just trying you know another like a way to use up my scraps but at the same time make a new project some of these um, scraps piece of paper were from my Easter projects that I had done or my scrapbook uh, pages for Easter that I had made so just like I said wanted to try to create a different project um, and not be wasteful why do I feel so guilty you guys like maybe it's because like I don't know <laughs> I don't know like I don't want to go on a long story but I just don't like being wasteful I growing up I didn't have like a lot of money my parents were like dirt poor and we really ate out of the we ate what we planted the the land that we worked on so I have just such a thing about feeling guilty for being wasteful and if I'm spending the money on my paper and on my dyes and on my um, things then I want to make sure I use all of them I don't know is that weird like <laughs> let me just get back to the video you guys I hope you understand where I'm coming from or what it is I'm trying to say so I basically missed all of everything that I was doing but you guys have already seen or maybe you haven't I have a video where I showed you guys how I created the paper pot flower pot and how I did the stamp that you are amazing and then used another die with washi tape to create the word mom or mother now I am taking my little sponge here that finally came in the mail and this just makes it so much easier to get all the little um, pieces of paper that are not attached to the die um, or to the die cutout that don't belong there. One thing that I did find out that was really cool is that the harder you press on the little foam mat the more curled the petals on the flower get so I really really enjoyed that and um, I think I actually showed it a little bit earlier but I'm just going to be running um, like I said really quickly through the little foam just making sure that I get as much out as I can without having to use my little tool to poke them out individually because that's very much time consuming cleaning that up and I'm going to assemble or play around with how I want the dies cutouts to be set I've already showed you I'm just kind of showing you again I'm gonna be using the Rainbow ink um, matte adhesive because when it dries it dries clear and you won't be able to see it so like I said before because this was the first time that I was kind of playing around with the die cuts I wanted to kind of figure out where it is that I wanted them however 
you guys will see in a little bit I ended up removing them because I made it too tall like super super tall where I was like yeah this doesn't look real or like it doesn't look um, how it should so you'll see that in a little bit um, like I said this is just me playing around with them first I am also using these little pre-made flowers I bought these well to be honest I don't remember I believe I bought them either from Hobby Lobby or Michaels I feel like I seen them in Michaels though so if it's from Michaels it's from the brand Brick Collection and if it's from Hobby Lobby it's from the brand Paper Studio and I'm going to basically just add like a little dot of adhesive to the center just so that it gives the die cut a little bit of more I guess detail because just the die cuts by themselves wasn't doing it for me so like I said added um adhere them to the center and then adhere the die and the flower to the actual flower pot adding a little bit of greenery as well and like I said one of the good things about this glue is that when it dries you you can't even tell that it was there so I really did like that I think it went well for these especially because the die cuts have like a lot of empty space in between the the holes um, so I don't know it just worked really well I actually recommend it for this kind of project where you're gluing die cuts together like that so this is where my flower parts um, flower pot starts to get a little bit crazy <laughs> so just bear with me uh, I didn't know it that's how it looks from the back I don't think I showed you guys how it looked from the back on the other video but um, it didn't bother me that you guys could see it I mean are people really gonna be I guess they do look at the back of the card right but I don't know it didn't bother me that you could see them through the back or that I had no back cover to the actual flower pot. So to finish up the video you guys because we're closing up at the end I just wanted to say that as I get closer to 2,000 subscribers just be on the lookout for the giveaway it's gonna I'm gonna show you and you need to participate in the video in order to be put in for the giveaway and it's just a small way for me to say thank you for all the love and support that all of you guys have given me and I know that not everybody that subscribed to my channel is a crafty person so I promise that my next giveaway will be something that anybody could use I have no idea what that would be but I will probably make it like something different other than crafts so anyways I just wanted to say um, once again thank you for all the love and support that you've given me I hope that you enjoyed watching a different variation same concept just did using slightly different tools so that um, you can create different projects and I hope you guys have a good week um, I'm gonna leave you guys right here but basically all that I'm gonna be doing is just removing the additional two dies that I mentioned mentioned earlier um, because it was too tall or it didn't look like even like an even flower pot if that's even possible to have an even flower pot <laughs> but, but anyways Adriana has joined me so we're gonna leave you here you guys we want to wish you a good week and God bless of course, a good weekend, too. A good weekend as well. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Visit us next time. Yay. Hey, guys. I forgot to mention the name of the video. So the minute that I see the 2,000 subscribers, 
the video is going to be called 2000, 2K giveaway. Once again, see you soon. Bye.